Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here another video. I'm here in Lebanon, Tennessee. I delivered my load. I'm waiting on the next one. It was supposed to have been ready. Now they're at... I got here at 10 o'clock. I said, oh, it won't be ready until... We haven't even started it yet. But we don't get back to lunch, so check back 12.30, 1 o'clock. Oh my God. And it's 12.12 12 right now as we're recording this. So... I've been doing paperwork and whatnot, so I'm going to get a video in here with a little bit of time left because i got to wait a little more anyway. <laughs> I'm going to schedule previews. Again, back in the AAC, we're doing ECU, East Carolina. Um, for those of you, since we have new members coming into the American, the AAC, basically what I want to do is I'm going to do, normally I always do them like for a conference for all the members. It's, you know, best record going down. This one I'm going to do best record going down for all the existing members and then I'm doing best record down for all the new additions in the conference and we'll do it that way um, so East Carolina's next they had a pretty good 2022 season they started they had a bit of an interesting season but they ended up finishing eight and five um, so we do normally these comp compilations here or comparisons <laughs> for these schedule previews not predictions schedule previews for the non-conference games from last season and this season decide which one's tougher and the entire schedule last season and this season, and we'll decide which ones suffer. So with newer members going in, I got a funny feeling last year's schedule is going to be a tougher one overall. But first off, let's get the non-conference games out of the way, shall we? Non-conference games for last year. Home against NC State. Home against Old Dominion. Home against Campbell at BYU. I consider BYU a Power 5 independent. So, two Power 5, one Group of 5, one FCS, one Power 5 on the road. This season's non-conference games. At Michigan, you're at the big house to start the year. Yikes. Home against Marshall, at Appalachian State, home against Gardner-Webb. One Power 5, two Group of 5, one FCS, a Power 5 on the road, and an FC and a Group of 5 on the road. I got to say last season's is tougher because most people don't consider BYU at, at Power 5 independent. I'm like, okay, let's see. They were playing five to six, seven Power 5 opponents a year. And on top of that, you got an 80, was it 70, 60, 70,000 seat stadium? They, they could fill it up like an independent. They travel like, I mean, they filled up like a Power 5. They travel like a Power 5. They play like a Power 5. So they should be. And now officially this coming season, July 1st, they will be. Now, like I said, I think last year's non-conference games were tougher than this year's. But let's get into the entire schedule from last season. Start the season, the season opener, home against NC State, you lost 21-20. Home against Old Dominion, 139-21. Home against Campbell, 149-10. Start off conference play at home, four straight home games against Navy, and you lost 23-20 in double overtime. They went on the road at USF, 148 to 28. On the road at Tulane, lost 29 to 9, I believe. Then the interesting game. Come back home against Memphis. 147 to 45 in four overtimes. Whew. Home against UCF, 134 to 13. And then at BYU, 127 to 24. East Carolina traveled west on the road. To Provo and one. That's an accomplishment. Then they get their bye week. Nine games before the bye. Sheesh. Three after. At Cincinnati, lost 27 to 25 out the bye. Home against Houston, lost 42 to 3. And then at Temple, 149 to 46. So they go into a bowl game. They go to the Birmingham Bowl against Coastal Carolina from the Sun Belt and win 53 to 29. Okay, so let's look at this now. Let's look at the schedule now from this season. They start the season and on the road at the Big House at Michigan, home against Marshall, at Appalachian State, home against Gardner-Webb, start off conference play at former Conference USA member and current new member at Rice. Then they get the bye. So instead of having not nine before the bye last year, it's only five this year. So that's going to make it a little bit more interesting. And they come out of the bye at home against SMU, home against Charlotte, and then back-to-back -back road games against the two teams that a lot of people think could be the two battling for the AAC championship. 
and that's at UTSA and excuse me, it's a one road, one home. At to you at UTSA, Texas San Antonio, and then home against Tulane. Then at FAU, Florida Atlantic, at Navy, home against Tulsa. So, which schedule is tougher? We always do it, the road games. Who are the road games? Last season's road games. At USF, at Tulane, at BYU, at Cincinnati, at Temple. We had Tulane on the road, BYU Power 5 on the road. USF did not do well last year at all. Cincinnati was a great team. Temple did not do good well, well so either. This season, at Michigan, at Appalachian State, at UTSA, at FAU, at Navy. I'm looking at this going like, okay, USF is the worst team in the American. Have them on the road. That's a bad, it's an easy win. At Tulane, that was ridiculous for them. At BYU and won. At Cincinnati, lost. At Temple. I mean, the fact is, is that you look at this, though, last season. At USF, won by 20. At Tulane, lost by 20. At BYU, won by 3. At Cincinnati, lost by 2. At Temple, won by 3. Temple only won 3 games last year. Foreshadowing to their schedule preview. Now you got to go on the road at Michigan, at Appalachian State, which is not an easy place to play, at Rice, at UTSA, who's a 10-win team from last season, at FAU, and then at Navy, a team that beat you last year. At home. Mm. Could this season actually be tougher? But with BYU, you know, you're basically swapping out Power 5, BYU for Michigan? I, I'm going to say, you know what? Cincinnati was a group of five, but they were a high group of five. Temple was a bad team. BYU was a power five, and they beat them. Tulane's a good team, lost to them. USF was horrible. Now, Michigan, phenomenal team. App State can be a decent threat. Rice. Rice went to a bowl game last year, folks. At UTSA, at Florida Atlantic, at Navy. We, I, mean, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I think this year's schedule is actually tougher, even with the new additions. Uh, but I need everybody's thoughts in the comments on this one because this this one's tough for me to decide who's tougher because it's, man. I mean, the non-conference with two Power Fives last year was easy. That's last year's schedule. But the whole schedule this year, this is tough. So I want you to let me know down in the comments what you think is tougher. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Um, if you haven't done it already, please... Smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Do you think last year's non-conference schedule is tougher? Or is this year's non-conference schedule tougher? Also, do you think last year's schedule is tougher? Or this year's schedule is tougher? And they went 8-5. and five. They went 8-5 and five last year. With this schedule, I'll repeat it again. At Michigan, home against Marshall... At Appalachian State, home against Gardner Webb, at Rice, home against SMU, home against Charlotte, at UTSA, home against Tulane, at FAU, at Navy, home against Tulsa. Can they win eight games again? Counting the bowl game. I'll give you with the bowl game. Seven games regular season. Can they do it again? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. Just past 400 subscribers on the way up to 500. Slowly but surely on that crawl up to a 1,000. If you've subscribed already, thank you very much. If you're going to do so, thank you again. Remember, please hit the notifications bell. It lets you know when I post a video. I try to do one every single day. So, ah, well, I guess I need to get this truck ready to go over there and check on to find out what exactly is going on. Uh, so... Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Please be safe out there. I nearly got hit three times on the way in here from from uh, North Carolina. Spent the night in town in Nebo, North Carolina. A little mom and pop truck stop there. And then came in here, and it was crazy coming in. Just accidents everywhere. So be safe out there, and please be good to each other.